Hello everyone, Donut Tony here and another episode of our retro games and we're going to go another six years in the future, well six years after the Football Manager 1982 game for one of those clones I told you about and this is the first game we're going to have a look at. It's called uh, On The Bench, it was released in 1988 and you would see a lot more updated screens, a lot more changes. So we're going to see uh, how we get on today. It's done by uh, Cult Games. I used to buy a lot of games from Cult Games, actually. They did a, a lot of decent little football management games. Um, we're playing it on the Spectrum 128K Eliminator here on my PC. This game is the Spectrum 48K version. Um, the original price was £2.99, £2.99 for the game, and it came out on the Spectrum, the Amstrad, and the Commodore. Um, average magazine score 47.67. Oh, I would actually think it, it does, deserves more than that, but we'll go into the game now and uh, see what it's like. So let's just load it up. There you go, there is my uh, Eliminator screen. I'll just go into File. And I'll click on the bench and there we go you will hear a few more sounds in this game so that's good do you want to load over game no nope. manager's name again I'm on oops I'm on the spectrum keyboard so I've got to remember a couple of things are different than my normal PC Let's see if I can type my full name in here oops, see can I type longer than 12 characters because I couldn't on the Yes, I can. Oh, that's good. Because I couldn't on the Football Manager 82 game, I can only do eight characters. On this one, I can type a lot more than that. So that's, that's already an advantage. Skill level zero. I'm not... And as you can see here, um, you can pick any side you want. The, the screens are a lot quicker. Of course, it's a lot more organized because this is 1988, not 1982. And uh, here are all the sides. Older shot, they don't exist as, um, as they were then anymore. Um, you've got Notts County who have just gone back into the uh, English League, York City who have gone down, I think they're in uh, Nation League North or something now, Sunderland, they were a lower league side when it, this is in 1988, and then uh, Newport County don't exist, Hereford, Halifax Town, Halifax Town don't exist anymore, they're now a feeder team I think, Hereford United are now just Hereford, uh, Hereford United don't exist, they became a Phoenix side called Hereford and then you've got uh, Torquay are in the National League Scarborough don't I don't think Scarborough are around anymore if anyone can correct me on that let me know uh, Rochdale are now in the National League they just got relegated wow so I'm going to ch oh, I always try to pick the side that I'm my size that's Oxford United yes we've had a bad season <laughs> uh, oh enter the team oh this is changing I didn't realize this is not picking my side I had to change my team name so I'm actually going to keep it as it oops keep it as it is my keyboard keeps going into capitals I do not know why there we go is it let me yes it does there we go okay I just my PP to pick there we go team number 14 how many points will win oh this is new because I remember in the very old days it used to be two points win, but now it's three. So it's tick three, start original tape. Now I, as I've got an eliminator, I can actually speed this up. There we go. So we don't have to wait very long. There we go. I'll now change the speed back down to normal. How many expect spectators? I'll put zero because I don't know how big my side is. You will hear a little bit of sound in a minute. Just a dot. Sponsors pay £10,211. Wow, thanks. This is pre-season, so this is not even during the season yet. And of course, there's no ground improvements because I did not put any in. And I'm now waiting for the, uh, there we go. Weekly accounts, general pairs, £80. There's a lot more, a lot more screens to go through now. So we've got hundred two thousand pounds in the bank so that's one thing that hasn't changed we're still quite poor or are we? we've got 352,000 that's credit in advance so let's list this team let's see what side we've got what player names we've got quite standard player names 
uh, I think these are 1988 play names because I can recognize Reed, like Barnes, I think is John Barnes. Reed, I think is Peter Reed. Um, Hughes, Mark Hughes, I think. Uh, but we've only got a squad of 13 players. Wow, not many. Um, so it's only skill levels here. There's no energy levels in this game, of course. So when you go training, that these numbers can go, I think they, the maximum they go up to could be 20. I don't know for certain. But E to edit, that's good. So let's edit Stevens and put myself in. Because I always like put myself in games if I can. Oops. So, not. Is that going to work? Player number 10. Don't know. There we go. Of course, I have to put the best player for me. <laughs> so, we go back to the menu. I don't want to change anything yet. Let's go to training number two. So who, which area? Oh, I think I'm going to train all of them see what happens. So we're training everyone. This might increase or decrease. Yeah, player 10 and player 11 got a plus there. It doesn't actually tell you the names. It just says it's player 10 or player 11. So if we go back to this squad, that means 10 and 11. Yeah, it is up to 20. So Donut is on 11 now, not 10. And Barnes is on 6, not 5. That's good. So we go back to the menu. Let's look at the league table, see what they put us. We're in League Division 4 again. This is before the Premier League and everything like that was sorted out. So it's uh, Division 1, Division 2, Division 3, Division 4. Again, for those who don't know which is which, pretty obvious though. Like Division 1 is Premier League now, Division 2 is the Championship, Division 3 is League 1, Division 4 is League 2. So here are the sides, all in alphabetical order. As you can see, compared to Fort Manager, 1982 there's a lot more sides in this one there's three six nine i think there's 12 or on that screen and then the bottom half there's no relegation here in the bottom division you don't go down to the national league because the national league does not exist uh, so fixtures number four so here are all the fixtures so how many games do we play then there's 14 there already 28 yes there's a full 42 games looks like it 42 games, so this would actually take quite a while to play. So number five is status. What's status? Ah, oh, this is the current status of uh, what's going on in your side. So we've got cash of 102,000. We've got overdraft lift at a limit of 250. So we go 215 debt. That's all right. Well, not all right if you're going debt, but there's some primary points. Oh, let's list the players under some primary points. That's good. Oh, look, it's got highest victory. Very good, actually, for 1988. This is good. And this player's careers, of course, no one's on anything yet because we haven't even started. And then you've got scouts, number six. Scout one is on a sign. Let's just start a sign a scout. This week's matches lets him go over to crew, number three. And let's look at the home team. Scout number one. Uh, I want all the players. Okay, let's do scout number two. Oops. Yeah, sign scout number two. That's right. And let's go to Bolton Wanderers. And let's look at Bolton Wanderers. And all the side, scout number one. Oh no, scout number two, isn't it? And zero for all players. There we go. And then final scout, scout number three. What match shall we? Let's go over to Scunthorpe. But let's look at Swansea City. So it's two. Scout number three, and all the players, because it gives you a view. Of, I think it just gives you the skill ratings of all the players. It doesn't actually tell you who it is. Uh, and then when we get the reports, we can look at obtain report and skill sheet, because there will be nothing at the moment to look at. Uh, scorers, I think this is the, uh, yes, it lists the players 1 to 11 and how many goals they've scored. So this could go on for a while, so I'm going to speed this bit up, actually. So, there we go. So, of course, it's the season hasn't even started yet. So, um, no player has actually scored a goal yet. So, we go back to normal. There we go. Player inquiry. I wonder what that is. Division 4. 
Okay, let's go to Wolves. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. Player number 10, I'm guessing, is an attacker. And it will tell me deal will be 175,000. So, N for no. And then the FA Cup number 9. Draw hasn't been made yet. Okay, zero then, play match. I think that will... We're on minus two week, so we're pre-season at the moment. So when if I click zero, which I just did, we now should be on minus one. Scout reports are in, so let's look at number six and see what the scouts come back. I'm actually amazed they've done a report when the game hasn't actually been done yet. Work that one out, actually, everyone. <laughs> so obtain the report number one, two, and then one again. Gives me a list of all the players and their skill ratings currently. So the number 11 is their best player. They've got defensive 20, 16 and 26. Just like football manager, the ratings are split into three areas. So we'll obtain the report number two. Scout number two. And this is Port Vale. Or oh, Sport Wanderers, sorry. Not bad side. Oh, very good defence actually. You would imagine they'd be very good. And then obtain report. Scout number three, and this is Swansea City. Oh, crikey. Compared to other sides, I think my my side are quite weak. So skill sheet, this should put all the ratings we've got in so far into one sheet. So let's speed it up a bit. There we go. So crew, Bolton, Swansea are all in there. I don't know if this changes, but um, as each week goes on, does it automatically go up and down? I very much doubt it. We won't assign any more scouts. We really want to play a game, don't we? So we'll go to play match and wait until it goes to week one. We're on minus one at the moment. So our next game, oh, week zero. So we still need to go another week. So we will. There we go. So the only, I, one thing you probably notice is no transfer list. So the only way you can buy players is to make inquiries and then buy them that way, which is a bit of a, bit of a strange way of doing it. But let's go to let's go and play our first game against Torquay United at home. So you can see compared to Football Manager 82, there's a lot more that you need to do in this game. So there's our side. We've got 20, 20, 21 actually. We've got a very good uh, overall mix there. So as you can see, there's our lineup there. Oh, there's a goal that's been scored. Who scored it? We did. Barnes, yay. After nine minutes, oh, 10 minutes and another goal has gone in. And it's Hunt who scored, 2-0 to us. And there is no, there's no sound. There is no noise when the goal goes in would you believe it oh donut's been booked that's what i think b is for i wonder if they get sent off what well, that will be would that be s or yeah probably s i guess we're sending off so we're approaching 30 minutes we're approaching half time and there's so there's actually no screen showing the goals on this it's just this little screen you see here so have talkie scored Yes, they have two one. So I'll see what the I'll see what the computer does. It goes for all our players, saying no, we haven't scored, and then it goes over to Torquay and says you've scored. So it's actually second half now. Now it's going to go for all our players and see if we scored. Yes, Smith, oh defender has scored. That's quite a rarity in these early games. So it's Oxford United three, Torquay United one. I can't put a sub. Oh, I can put a sub in. Um, but it doesn't actually tell me how to put the sub in, oddly. Do I press S? Let's have a look. Is it S for sub? No, it's not. Oh, Jones. <laughs> Jones, number one, got booked. So I can't actually make a sub unless a player gets injured, I suppose. That's, uh, that's quite unique. But we're still winning 3-2. Again, not much sound at all. The sound is actually on, but as you can see, I'm guessing that they don't do much sound in games. I think that changes um, 
as the games get older. Division 4 then, these are going to be the results. So, Bolton Wanderers beat Port Vale 3-0. We're going to quickly go through this because this could take a while and uh, we haven't got too long playing this. So let's skip the speed. This is four times the speed now. So a big win there for Newport County over Wolves. Scarborough beats Stockport. Good seven goal thriller there at Burnley. Colchester beat Cardiff 4-1. Peterborough thrashed Tranmere 5-0 and we won 3-2 against Torquay. Again, this is a little bit faster speed than uh, what the game normally is at. This is one of the advantages of having a PC. You can actually change the speed of the game so you don't have to wait too long so can you imagine how long this would be if this was normal speed this will be a lot longer than we're waiting now so we're currently waiting a good 10 15 seconds for this to uh to update if we were on normal speed this would take oh, two minutes two three minutes probably and we haven't got time for that so let's change the uh you'll probably see me do this a lot in games change the speed so weekly accounts, general repairs, wage bill, interest, balance. Actually, I think we made a little bit of money there. So let's look at the league table. That's the only sound is when you select on the options, I've noticed. So we are, we've won our first game. We'll, we'll play one or two more. But again, you're not missing much. This is what's actually happening in the game at the moment. This is just it. And this is a scorer, so it <laughs> tells you which players have scored. So Burnley, who lost, I think, 4-3, their number 10 actually scored the um, all their goals. Now, I want to see what Peterborough goal scorer was. Colchester, their 8 and 9, scored two each. Peterborough, here we go, because they scored five. And it was all one. Oh, OK, their number 5, 6, 7, 9 and 10 all scored one goal each. So it'd be interesting actually to check Burnley's number 10 and see what skill rating he is because he scored a hat-trick in that goal and we can do that by the scouts. So we go to the scouts and we're going to find Burnley. So assign a scout number one. Well, Burnley, who are they playing in their next game? They're playing Port Vale, so match seven, team two, scout one. And we might as well do them all. And see what a scout tells us against this Burnley number 10 who scored a hat-trick. He probably doesn't score any in the next game. Training too. So we need to train our players. Um, I think all players again need to train. See what happens this time. Are we going to get any minuses? Nothing happens at all. <laughs> no changes whatsoever. That's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Um, so we'll list squad again. I can't believe the only sound is that very faint beep. There's our side. So of course to change players, let's change number one to where number 12, much easier than football manager. And Hamilton is in the number one position, which again doesn't mean he's in, there's no goalies in this game, oddly. So we'll click to menu. go we have to be very reliable um, careful this game obviously because it's an emulator game sometimes it doesn't always respond to what you, you're pressing so Carlisle United and we're away this time we beat Torquay 3-2 in the previous game remember so our defense midfield and attack has not changed so we are actually away to Carlisle but you can see us as the uh, home side which is not the case in this case so let's see how we're getting on this as you can see it's 20 minutes in the game and nothing's happened we'll just play this game see what that Burnley number 10 is and then um, yeah we might play another one I like to keep these videos quite short because um, no offense to these older games there's not really much to see um, and it's very can be very boring. We will see noticeable differences in other games um, as we try other games in the series and see what they're like. But as you can see in this game, nothing much is happening at all. We're, we're approaching 
55 minutes and no no one's been booked no goals gone in oh and the goal has now gone in 57 minutes have we scored no Carlisle United have scored says Oxford 1 0 Carlisle 1 Carlisle I think are in the National League at the moment so this is going to be a defeat I wonder no another goal has been scored but is it us or is it them it's us, Peters, number six has scored. So we're now 1-1 with Carlisle, but still 15 minutes to go. Take that 10 minutes to go, or 10 seconds to go. So this is going to end as a 1-1 draw. There's no extra time in this, no 90 plus 8 or 7 minutes, like in some games there is. Oh, there is, actually, you do get that. So you do get extra minutes, but it's... Uh, Looks like it's going to be a 1-1 one, one draw. Oh, God, there's four minutes of extra of overtime. So, Oxford 1, Carlisle 1. Again, the results are going to come up, and they do take the time. So, again, we're going to speed it up. How did Burnley get on? Peterborough, who scored five in the last game, scored four in this one. Swansea won again. Burnley lost 1-0, so that number 10 did not do anything. So, we just let the computer do its calculations which as it's a PC computer it shouldn't take too long there we go I'll then go back and change the speed back to normal uh, balance 106,000 so we actually lost some money in that game let's go to the league table where are we in the league table we've now won one and drawn one there we go we're still on the top half of the table Two go up, that's what the light blue is. Then three. Um, is there three in the playoff or something? I don't know. It would be odd if there is a playoff in this. Um, bottom of the table, Cardiff. In fact, there might be some, there might be a relegation in this. Because uh, that's the only way I can think of them highlighting that section down there. But now let's go into scouts. We want to see what this Burnley player was all about. So let's just see how it is. So obtain report number two and then scout number one. And this is the Bernie. So it's the number 10, isn't it? He's a, uh, okay, skill factor six. Um, so nothing out in ordinary. So again, the only way to buy players in this game, it seems, is making a player inquiry. So if I went to number four, division four, went to Burnley, number two, and went to then the player number 10. 81,000 pounds for a six rating player. So you can hold to think about it, yes to accept, or and not to, as we only got 100,000 in the bank, that'd be a very stupid thing if we said yes. So we go to status now as a few things have been updated. Cash balance, 106,000, overdraft, capacity 10,000, wage bill 8,000, which is, I guess, quite high. Disciplinary points, because Donut and Jones both got booked. And then we've got highest victory, highest defeat, drawn. Very good. And then players' careers, of course, most players have played two or one games now. So, we well, actually, let's do one more game. Cardiff City, away, away, so, a second consecutive game in away, so we're going to play Cardiff, and as you can see, we've gone straight into the game. There's no point in me changing the um, players. I, oh, I could have gone into training actually, but never mind. It doesn't actually tell you unless you scout the team what their ratings are. But Cardiff were actually bottom of the table, weren't they? So. You would think that we'd win this, but we are away to Cardiff at the moment. Uh, Harding got booked. Again, it'd be interesting to also see what happens if a player gets sent off. If they do get sent off. I'm sure they do get sent off in this game. If they got booked, then there's a reason why their, their booking bit of the game has been put in. But as you can see, this game is another... Oh, Goal straight on end of first half or beginning of second half, and it's Cardiff. Oh, but straight away another goal's gone in. Is it us or is it them? It's them. Oh, geez. So Cardiff are at the bottom of the table. Our 
2 0 up, or is this even worse now? No, Donut has scored. Thank you, Donut. So it's Oxford 1, Cardiff 2. Still, this is going to be a bit of a shock, but still uh, very early in the season because it's only. This will be only the third game of the season so far. But Smith has got booked. So we're definitely. All three of our players have now got booked. So could there be a chance that one of them might be sent off? Oh, there's another goal going in. 70 minutes. And the score now is Harding has just scored. Oxford 2, Cardiff 2. So we come back from 2 0 down to draw level. Can we get this victory? Which uh, would be nice if we do, actually. Or would Cardiff sneak there with a shock win? And Or would it end up as a draw? We'll wait and see. Again, there is no sound to this game. Um, oh, Barnes has got booked. So. It ended up to all so we're away of course so don't think there'll be much money going in so we're going to speed this bit up again because this will take a while speed up to eight times this time Pickford drew nil nil this time so their goal run has ended and 2-2 for Oxford against Cardiff so we've had in our three games two draw matches and one win so we are unbeaten after three games so I suppose you could look at it that way go back to normal here we go oh we were home because gate money came in 2008 oh yeah we're still losing money though oh FA Cup round on draw we'll, we'll see that so let's do training first though again all people ah number player went up seven player skill went up and that was it really oh sometimes this happens in the game i'm afraid uh the game has suddenly just stopped on me so i'm afraid that will that will be the point where we will have to end the uh End the episode, I think, because I can't continue. The game has actually frozen on me. Sometimes this happens. That's unfortunate. Um, so yeah, there you go. That is the uh, that's the game. If you'd like me to carry on this series, please let me know. I hope you enjoy the video. And sorry about that abrupt ending, but the game has decided not to carry on. So we will stop at this point. So thank you, and uh, speak to you soon.